So for this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to manipulate variables and taking an input from well various sources, from a keyboard or from system commands, working with your own variables and with mathematics and strings. So we'll start with one here, of reading an input from the keyboard. So we're going to ask the user what is their name. Now we're going to add this little addition to the echo command, now dash n. Now dash n means don't go to a new line. So what is your name? Question mark. And the command for reading an input from a keyboard is read. And we're just creating a variable afterwards, so read name. And say echo, just blank line. Another line, so hello there. Now to address that variable, put a dollar sign and then its name. So in this case, dollar name. To save that, we're going to run it bash script2.sh. What is your name? Quids. Hello there, Quids. And if I just wanted to add something like echo key to continue you could do read dash n space one what's your name me hello there me press any key to continue and there you are that ends the script okay let's just comment out all that we'll move on now this could be a useful thing results back from system commands so you might want to say echo you are running and you can refer to the system commands with dollar and then bracket and the command you're trying to pass to it. So lsb, lsb underscore release dash sd close bracket with kernel space dollar open bracket you name dash r close bracket. Run the script. You're running Ubuntu 12.04.2 LTS with kernel 3.8.4. There you go. So that's using system variables or system commands there. Now if you want to work with, say, mathematics, integers here. So new variable a equals 2. Another variable b equals 5. Now if I want to multiply the two of those together, do a equals, or I could even create a new variable here. But anyway, let's just do um, a equals dollar, open bracket, open bracket. I can't remember why it has two open brackets, but it does. And it is um, very sensitive to the amount of spaces and brackets that you need in bash scripts. Now that would multiply those two variables together. You could also just add one to that variable. So you could do let, then the speech marks, a plus equals one. Let's see what it equals. Echo a equals dollar a, addressing the variable. Save it. Run it. A equals 11. Do you understand why? 2 times 5, 10 plus 1. Running all those commands through. And if I did want to find out what b equaled, then you could just do dollar b. So you don't always have to use the speech marks in echo. Now how about working with strings? So we'll start with concatenating them, adding two strings together. So C equals hello, C plus equals world, echo dollar C. Let's see what C equals. Oh yeah, that's a bit much of a mouthful really, isn't it? Hello world, hello indeed. Another method of concatenating strings. So we can put in D equals messing. D equals dollar brace D brace with alternate methods. Echo blank line. Echo D. Let's save it and run it. Hello world, messing with alternate methods. And I forgot to put a space in there, didn't I? But hey, you can see it works. Now the last part of strings that I'll show you is working with substrings. 
So I could put in str equals a, b, c, d, e, f, g, h, i, j. Right, echo. So just to understand we know what string is. So string is dollar str. Now what if you wanted to read from the fourth character onwards? You could say after the first three characters and it's dollar brace str colon three we'll skip the first three characters I'll just show you a few of the other methods before I run that script four characters long from the fourth character will be dollar str three colon four close brace last two characters dollar str colon space important one here space minus two brace tr is tick character to the left of one on an English keyboard and I bet that's a different character on an American keyboard anyway you can see what I've typed there EXPR space length space dollar STR tick characters long save it let's see what happens ah, the string is a, B, C, D, E, F, G, blah, blah, blah. After the first three characters, and you can see from D, E, F onwards, four characters long from the fourth character, D, E, F, G, last two characters, I, J, and the string is 10 characters long. There you are, that's a bit of uh, working with variables in bash scripting. The script will be available to download from the description below. So thanks for watching, see you later.